Now we are going to see property of properties of division. Now we are going to see the properties of division. The first property any number is divided by itself gives 1 as the quotient 12 is to 12. So 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. I'll repeat once again properties of division. First property any number divided by itself gives 1 as the quotient. That means Q means quotient 12 is divided by 12 you can get 1. So any number divided by itself. So any number means I am taking example 12. So 12 is divided itself means what is this? Any number means I have taken 12 as an example. Itself means what the same number. Itself means what the same number. So 12 is divided by 12 you can get what 1. So 1 is a quotient. For example the first one any number I have written 50 is divided by 50 you can get what 1. Okay, you can get 1. That means itself means what? Same number. Itself means what? Same number. Itself means same number. Same number. This is a any number. This is any number is divided by itself. You can get what? 1. Any number is divided by itself. The same number. Any number is divided by the same number. You can get 1. Or any number is divided by itself. You can get 1. Okay, 1 is a quotient. This is a quotient. Q means quotient. So, Q, U, Okay, O T I E N T is a quotient. Okay, next for no next one is for example, hundred is divided by hundred. You can get one. One as a quotient. Twenty five is divided by twenty five. You can get one. Next, twenty five. You can get twenty five. You can get what one again. That means next 16 is divided by 16. You can get what one. Another example that is one hundred and 100 oh, sorry 1250 is divided by 1250 you can get one so this is the example for the sum next that means example for not for the sum example for the first property it is any number is divided by itself gives one as the quotient q is a quotient so that is what 12 is to 12 you can get one i am giving more examples so kindly look at this 50 is divided by 50 the any number 50 and what any number is divided by itself means same number so a 50 is divided by 50 1 as a quotient 100 is divided by 100 1 as a quotient 25 is divided by 20 1 as a quotient and 16 is divided by 16 1 is a quotient 1250 1250 is divided by 1250 you can get what even 1 10,000 is divided by 10,000 you can get 1 125 is divided by 125 you can get 1 this is the what first property example what is the first property any number is divided by itself the quotient is 1 any number is divided by itself you can get the quotient as 1 that is what the first property next any number is divided by 1 gives the what it gives the number itself as the quotient that is 14 is divided by 1 you can get 14 this different this any number is divided by 1 gives the number itself itself means the same number so for example this is the first one first first property next is second 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 property example that is 14 is divided by 1 you can get what 14 so any number is divided by 1 you can get the same number that is 14 for example that is 500 is divided by 1 you can get what the same number 500 1000 is divided by 1 you can get what 1000 so any number is divided by 1 you can get the same number itself means same number and then 200 is divided by 1 you can get 200 for example uh, 200 and uh, not 200 and for example what this is 1000 14 is divided by 1 is equal to 14. 500 is divided by 1 is equal to 500. 1000 is divided by 1 you can get 1000. And 200 is divided by 1 is equal to 200. For example, what is this? 125 is divided by is 125 is divided by 1. You can get what? 125. For example, 100 is divided by 1. You can get 100. So these are the example of the second property. Second property any number is divided by 1 gives the number itself as the quotient that is 14 divided by 1 you can get 14. That is what this is an example. So 
any number is divided by 1 gives the what same number itself so that is the property 14 is divided by 1 you can get 14 500 divided by 1 equal to 500 1000 is divided by 1 equal to get 1000 and 200 divided by 1 equal to 200 125 divided by 1 you can get 125 100 is divided by 1 you can get 100 this is the second property and you cannot divide by 0 you cannot divide by 0 that is 100 is divided by 0 it is not you cannot define you can not define it is not divide okay so any number is divided by 0 that means the property it is it cannot define the property that is that is what is the exact meaning means you cannot divide by 0 you cannot divide by 0 for example 100 is divided by 0 you cannot define you cannot define it is it is not measurable okay that is what the meaning you cannot divide by 0 this is the major property you cannot define by what you cannot define or you cannot divide by 0 okay 100 is divided by 0 you cannot define that means there is no meaning for it that is you cannot divide by 0 okay you cannot divide by 0 for example for example 0 is divided by any number you can get 0 okay 0 is divided by any number you can get 0 0 is divided by any number you can get 0 this is the this is also one property it is a quotient okay it become as a quotient for example 0 is divided by 25 you can get 0 or 100 is that is sorry 0 is divided by 100 you can get what 0 0 is divided by 1000 you can get 0 as a quotient 0 is divided by 100 means what you get 0 as a quotient okay and 0 is divided by 40 0 is a quotient for example 0 is divided by 25 you can get 0 0 is divided by 40 you can get 0 0 is divided by 100 you can get 0 as a quotient okay this this also a property but basically you cannot divide by zero it's a general property because that means any number this for example if i'm giving 100 100 is divided by zero means it is no, you cannot define you cannot define because it you, zero cannot be defined zero cannot be divided okay you cannot divide by zero so 100 is divided by zero it is you cannot get any answer because zero cannot divide by sorry you cannot divide by zero zero that means it's very important you cannot di divide by zero you cannot divide by zero so any number cannot divide by zero any number cannot divide by zero i'll repeat it keep on telling you you cannot divide by zero any number cannot divide by zero okay that is because it is uh, it is not defined and it is not measurable then and um, zero is divided by 25 zero is divided by any number you can get zero zero is divided by any number you can get zero always that means zero divided by 100 you can get zero and zero divided by 25 as a quotient as zero zero is divided by 100 you can get zero as a quotient zero is divided by 25 you can get zero as a quotient zero is divided by thousand what z that is zero is divided by thousand you can get the uh, answer is zero as a quotient okay that is very very important zero is divided by one you can get zero as a quotient zero divided by ten you can get the answer zero as a quotient zero is divided by thousand you can get zero as a quotient zero is divided by ten thousand you can get zero as a quotient so don't forget it okay 